Hi hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New Orders Carthage. So, I used some of the money that I got from Darius to buy missing barracks and armories in Moscow, Saguntum and Washington, and I queued up military production. So, I'll just finish the workabouts and then get started on fighters and bombers. Same in Moscow. I could actually buy that lighthouse. Yeah, let's do that. That's only 400 gold. I'll finish the workabout, obviously. I also queued up a carrier in Hipporegius and some other carrier elsewhere. And I annexed Berlin, queued up a few buildings in there. Also, as it turns out, Darius is actually friendly towards me, which is very funny. I should be able to get open borders with him even. Let's try doing that. Will he sell open borders? Yes, he will. For two gold per turn? <laughs> he actually sold open borders for two gold per turn. Alright, well, that helps me a little bit. But I'm going for Mecha now. I will get a few battleships and send them to Cusco. That shouldn't be very hard. And once I'm done with both Mecha and Cusco, I'll take the free cities from Japan. I'll need some land units to take Sukhothai, but the plan is to just get a tank or two in Washington. I'll finish Combustion, then just get some land ships from Washington. I could even get combined arms, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Some land ships should be more than enough. I have a lot of oil, 15 oil, that should be more than enough. As in, I had 15 oil before I queued up some fighters and mummers. Alright then, let's get started. I'm going to move towards Mecca as fast as possible. I'll just take this entire fleet with me, because this is the fleet... Oh, what? I found a natural wonder. Okay, thanks. Anyway, I'm going to take this entire fleet with me, because this is going to be a fleet that's going to attack Japanese cities. After I take Mecca. As for Cusco, my plan is to take it with the battleships that are already queued up in my other cities. So I will split my fleet in half, or in this case I will just create a second fleet. And I will have to split this fleet in half, or in three even, to take the Japanese cities. I plan to take Japanese cities roughly at the same time, so that I don't have to bother grinding through all of his units. Oda will have a lot of units and I don't want to waste my time fighting all of them. So his cities will be last. And I should probably repair the submarine. Yeah, let's do that. I'll leave some basic defenses in Persepolis. Probably by just buying some units. Or I'll leave one or two battleships that are currently queued up in Persepolis. Just to protect it in case Darius gets any funny ideas. Alright. So this turn is done. Let's continue. I don't think I can do anything else. I can get some trades. I guess that's kind of useful. I can sell this for 240 gold. Let's do that then. I have a lot of happiness. More than I'll need. I have 42 happiness. That's pretty crazy. Can I get some trades with Bismarck? Yeah, he will pay 3 gold per 10. Sure. I'll take it. What about Catherine? Will she give me a better deal than that? Salt. No? Oh, she won't buy it at all. Okay. I'll just do some deals with Bismarck. 3 gold per turn is fine, that's always better than nothing. I can still sell some stuff, not much point selling anything to Harun because I'm about to attack him. Washington won't buy fares from me. What about Pachakuti? Nope, he won't pay. Okay, whatever. I think I covered everything now. What about Darius? Nope. Okay, whatever. I mean, I'm getting... 200 gold per 10, so it's not like I need these deals. It's just some extra gold to play with. Alright, this turn is definitely done now. Yeah, Russia is denouncing me, whatever you say. Oh, I need more than one workboat in Moscow, because I also need the oil. I might actually need a little bit of extra oil, even though I still have 9 left. Yeah, Darius is denouncing me too, that's not very surprising. I expect like everyone to denounce me now, maybe except Oda, because I'm friendly with him. I could denounce some other people, which would give me a bonus with Oda. Russia stole electricity. Whatever. They can have it. It's not like they can threaten me. What was I going to do? 
Oh yeah, I need one more work boat. So this goes here. I could just buy a work boat. That's going to be much faster. That's only 160 gold. Yeah, let's just buy one. Repair this. And one more work boat. Do I need one more? Yes, I got one more queued up. Okay, let's just keep moving. I need to take Mecha before someone else does. Before Japan does. That's the plan. I'm almost considering buying a few ships in Washington. Because that might be faster. I hope that won't be necessary because buying a battleship is a little bit expensive. We'll see. How much gold do I need to buy a battleship anyway? Let's have a look. I do have a tenet that reduces the costs. 730 gold, that's not so much. I would need a battleship and some kind of melee ship, like a privateer. So that would be just over 1000. I might do it. Yeah, okay, let's actually do that. It's not like I'll need my money for anything else, so whatever. I already have an armory in Washington because I just bought one. That's targeting two, and I'll buy a privateer on the next turn. If it looks like Mecha is going to fall, I'll just declare war and take it myself. It might be tough with just one battleship, but... I'll just keep an eye on it. If I time it well, it might be possible with one battleship. Hey, you never know. I don't need escort for great admirals. Not really. I'm not at war with anyone right now. Yeah, Japan has quite a lot of bombers. That's why I plan to take the last three capital cities from Japan roughly at the same time. So I don't have to deal with all of these. Yeah, that's a lot of bombers. That's 10 bombers in these two cities already. Yeah, whatever you say, dude. But right now Oda is busy with Darius. I am very friendly with Oda, so... I can probably get him to declare war on someone right before I declare war on him. Also, this is a workable Krakatoa, holy crap. Wow. This is actually a workable Krakatoa. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's usually in the middle of nowhere. This is the mythical workable Krakatoa. I totally didn't notice that. Anyway, let's keep moving. This wonder is almost always like in the middle of the ocean. Not possible to work. Let's keep moving. This will take a few turns. But I need to go in that general direction anyway. To get to the Japanese cities. So this has to be done one way or the other. Keep moving this way. Yeah, the Great Admirals will slug behind, unfortunately. The Ironclad is coming because I need melee ships. There's my battleship, so now I'll just buy a privateer. I can upgrade the privateer. Or I can wait and buy a destroyer. I think that's going to be roughly the same exact cost. Alright. Targeting or bombardment. Let's grab targeting. I could totally just grab extra movement. Okay, this battleship is going for Cusco. I got a few battleships queued up in various cities. So three or four battleships with a privateer should be able to take this city. And once I take this city, Pachacuti will be completely wiped out. He only has one city right now. Let's keep moving this way. Yeah, Oda still has a lot of frigates. Does he actually have oil? Apparently he doesn't. Maybe he used all of it. Okay. Archaeologist. Yeah, because I totally need an archaeologist when I'm about to win the game. <laughs> but whatever. Oh, I need more than one. Work about here? Oh yeah, apparently I need one more still. Okay. Let's just buy one more then. Sure. That's only 160 gold. Alright. I could totally buy a seaport, but I don't really think it's worth it. For free hammers. Seaport costs 1000 gold. That's a little bit expensive. I'll pass. This goes here. Do I actually need one more workboat? Oh yeah, for the oil. No, this is already improved. So this is a wasted workboat. I'll just keep it in Saguntum in case someone pillages something later on. Plus some population. Yeah, Washington is growing quite nicely. And I can grow it even more. Can I get some more food? No, not really. Unless I work the desert. Yeah, I'd rather just get hammered now. But it would be better to work this instead. That's a lot of gold. 
Alright. Looks good. I could get even more production by working the engineer slots, but I still want to stay high in technology ranking. I want to keep my science rate reasonably high. Right now I'm getting 1000, Japan is getting 700, but that's with 30 cities? Holy crap. Yeah, this is one of the problems with data AI still. They tend to spam a lot of cities in the late game. And they are more or less shooting themselves in the foot by doing that, because these crappy cities that they are starting in the late game will just keep increasing... Uh, will keep increasing their science costs. This is partially because he's taking cities, but he started a lot of really crappy cities all over the place. What's the smallest city I can find? Yeah, this is not his city, but cities like this, yeah. These are classic examples. These cities are just delaying his progress. With 30 cities, his technology costs will be through the roof. So that's one of the problems with AI still. The recent fall patch was supposed to solve the city spam problem, which again, is just penalizing the AIs. But they still tend to spam a lot of these cities in Arctic terrain. What's the point of these cities? There's none. A two population city in the late game just hurts you. You get no benefit from that. It just delays your progress. Anyway, I don't really care, but just... Oh, hey, there's uranium over here. But yeah, I won't be starting a city there. I have four uranium, that's more than enough. Alright, let's keep moving. What did I get? Some extra tiles. Nothing interesting here. And plus some population in Berlin. Alright. I will leave some basic defenses around these cities just in case Bismarck or Darius get any stupid ideas. But I'll also keep enough gold to just buy units. If they declare war on me, I can just buy defenses instantly. That's why I'm keeping around 2000 gold at all times. I could instantly buy free battleships right now if I need to. That would be more than enough to defend myself. Otherwise, I would just spend all of this gold. Just to make it clear that I am in fact keeping that gold on purpose. So this goes where? Oh yeah, right here. Okay, that's the last workbot that I need. Here's another battleship, so targeting one, targeting two. And this goes west to Cusco. I could bring one Great Admiral with this fleet, perhaps. But I think I'd rather use that against Japanese cities. What's this rifleman doing here? I can't actually go here because of that rifleman. That's a little bit annoying. Oh well, maybe he will move. And if not, I'll send that archaeologist elsewhere. There are more antiquity sites. Yeah, like this one, for example. I can just send this guy over here immediately. I won't be bothering with a lot of archaeologists. It's not like I need more tourism. It's not like I need more anything. So I'm not really optimizing my economy all that much right now. In fact, I'm not building research labs in some of my cities. Some of the lower science output ones. I switch them to military production instead. There's uranium, nice. Any more improvements that I need? I guess I can finish that trading post. But I'm probably not going to work that. Alright then. I'm almost there. Yeah, Mecha is taking damage. Yeah... I might not be able to take that fast enough. Yeah, I don't think I will arrive there fast enough. I think there's no point buying a privateer now. By the time it gets here, Mecca will probably fall. If Japan takes that, I'll just have to take four cities from Japan in one go. Oh well, that's what I'll do then. Yeah, that's Japan attacking Mecca. Mecca will fall. There's no way I would be able to get there in time to take it myself, which is unfortunate. Oh well. I guess that means I'll be taking four cities from Japan. But Japan is still using a lot of frigates. That won't be a big problem. I can buy something for faith. No, I can't. Oh, that's probably just a missionary and or inquisitor. Alright. Let's keep moving this way. Shame about Mecha. That will make my war with Japan 
a little more annoying. Okay, this ironclad will go to Cusco because I need one melee ship with that. Let's keep moving. I should be able to see what's going on around Mecha real quick. No, I'm not decreeing war. Oh yeah, this is Harun's territory. So I can't see how a lot. I have to declare war to actually go through here. Yep, that's Japan attacking it. There's no way I can take it myself. That's just not happening. Oh well. Not much point debating it. It's clearly not going to happen. Nice defenses, bro. Shame if something were to happen to them. Just saying. I'm going in this general direction still because this is a fleet that's supposed to attack Japan. So they have to be there here, one way or the other, regardless of Mecha's status. I'll just declare war on Japan faster if they take Mecha. It's quite obvious that they will. Okay, now I can go here. Come here. Yes, disembark. What? I can't? There we go. Plus one population. And plus one population again. Alright. So, Saguntum turned out to be one of my best cities in this game. Do I have fishing boat here? No, I don't. So, I don't need fishing boat over here. How did I miss that? I have no idea. <laughs> but apparently I did. I should probably buy some cargo ships, but me. I'm making over 200 gold per turn, so I don't really care all that much. And yeah, as you can see, Japan took Mecha. Unfortunate. But there's no way I would have made it. So now I need to think about how to do this best. I don't think I can take all these cities, like, all at once. Here's a great scientist. What do I want to use him for? Yeah, I need to get radar to get some proper fighters. I will need some fighters against Japan. Just to protect my fleet. Right, great war bomber. I'll grab siege and plus two operational range. Like so. Alright. I do have some carriers queued up somewhere. I remember I queued up. Yeah, there we go. Hipporigios. I think I had one more in some city. I can always just buy one. But with all these bombers that I can see around here, I'm definitely going to need anti-air. Or just fighters. Alright, my submarines will just chill around here. This is his actual capital. But I won't be signing any peace deals with Japan. Wow, he has a lot of crap. Yeah, this might take a while. I might want to keep these submarines with my main fleet. Yeah, I just need to keep my main fleet together. I'm thinking about what the best way to handle this is. Once I declare war, he might go for Washington. So Washington will need some protection. In form of battleships, I guess. Okay. I could keep this fleet around Moscow and Sagontom and then just bait Japan to attack me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can ignore all of this. Even though he's only using Iron Class and Frigates, I can't just completely ignore a fleet this big. So... Who needs new orders? Yeah, you'll just stay here. Alright, I'll just declare war on him with my main fleet around this area. Where's Lisbon? Okay, Lisbon is pretty close. The main point here is that I need some fighters in range of my actual fleet to be in interception range. I didn't actually finish the fighters yet, but I will finish them soon. Okay. Costco is actually very close to Washington. Right, the bomber will stay there. And the Ironclad is coming to Costco. Which Ironclad is this? Oh no, this is for my main fleet. Right. I should get... Wait, I already have access to destroyers. Right, I need to upgrade this then. I need to upgrade the Iron Clans. Right, where's the second one? It's faster to do it like this. It's much faster to do it like this. Do I have any privateers? No, I don't. I just have two Iron Clans and that's it. So upgrade it. There we go, that's my first destroyer. 
And the second ironclad was with my main fleet. Okay. And I guess I'll pop ballistics. Because I need that for radar. Now I can upgrade the Gatling gun in Moscow. Not that I need the Gatling gun in Moscow. Or machine gun in Moscow. But I might as well do it. Great. Get out of the way. Seriously. That guy is getting on my nerves. So Pachako is spammed quite a few land units. That's not really going to help him all that much. Finish that trading post. My factory in Otika is almost done. I didn't buy the factory because that's a little bit expensive. I am buying one coal from Japan right now. I think, yes, now I'm buying free coal from Japan. I'll have to bribe some city-state with coal. Or something like that. Actually, I'm about to get plus one coal after I upgrade my ironclad. Because ironclads use coal, while destroyers do not. So that's plus one. Yeah, yeah. Arabia is still in this game. They have some crappy city on the North Pole. I think that's the last city. So upgrade. Now I'm at two coal. And I'll group these units together. I might wait for my Declaration of Friendship to expire. I'm not sure if I want to wait that long. How long will I have to wait anyway? I don't really care about Japan's opinion, honestly. Everyone already hates me and I'm about to win this game anyway. What? 39 turns left. Okay, I won't be waiting for that, that's for sure. I still want to get some nukes, however. Did I just finish the Manhattan Project? Yes, I did. I don't need the hotel. I don't need any of this crap in Carthage. I'll get... No, I don't need the lighthouse either. I don't need the opera house. I don't really need a seaport here. I'll finish the city walls, because why not? That's only one turn. But... I'll just focus on military production now. Do I need more destroyers? I guess I wouldn't mind at least one more. Here's another fighter. So siege one and plus two operational range. I'll get my first fighter soon. No, I won't. In five turns. I think I might wait for radar. Because this increases operational range quite a bit from what I remember. Yeah, I'm going to wait for radar. That's only five turns. Not really a big deal. And then I'll attack Japan in five turns. Meanwhile, it would be nice taking Cusco already. I don't think two battleships can handle that. Yeah, this army is pretty damn big. Even if it's not very strong in terms of unit power. But that's a lot of frigates. And ironclads. And all kinds of crap. Right. So what about these nukes? I don't think I want to just buy one, because that's kind of expensive. How expensive is that? Did I actually finish the Manhattan Project? I thought I did. I'm pretty sure I did. So where's the nuke? Or am I blind? Oh, right, I don't have the actual technology, right. I didn't research nuclear fission. I won't be waiting for that, that's a bit of a waste of time. I don't need nukes, it's just... A fun way to finish a game. Okay. Almost done with this. Alright, I'm going to wait five turns then. I won't be waiting to attack Pachakuti though. I could just declare war on him right now. I was hoping to get at least one more battleship and that destroyer. Yeah, I'll just wait properly. There's no huge rush to take Cusco. I can take it any moment I want. I just need to take it before I'm done with Japan. Alright, this turn is done. So, five turns. That carrier will be done in two. So, I should have enough time to bring that carrier here before I finish radar. I actually need six turns because I need one turn to actually upgrade my units. I could also spend some money to buy some fighters. He has a lot of bombers, so I need enough fighters to intercept all of that. Horses? He actually values horses still? Okay. Fine, I accept. Hmm. 
Yeah, Japan has a lot of crap. This is why I was tempted to just nuke it into oblivion. But oh well, I don't have the technology yet. So Siege 1 plus 2 operational range. And you will stay there. Four more turns. And I'm ready. This battleship will stay near Washington just for protection. Because I do expect Japan to attack Washington. That's the destroyer for Cusco, I believe? Yes, it is. Alright. The machine gun will stay in here. I'll bring both Great Admirals with my main fleet, because I might end up using one of them to repair my fleet. Probably not, but I want to have that option with my main fleet. So, three more turns, four more turns. I might just cut out a few turns. But obviously, if something interesting or important happens, I'll include that. However, I'll finish this video here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.